We are back with another gun build and you are not gonna wanna miss this one. We are going over a budget, kind of, budget juice cannon, also known as the SA-58 or FAL or whatever you wanna call it. This thing is absolutely savage and I can't wait for you to see this build. The thing about this build is, I, what I didn't know is that I needed this build. Let's talk about it. What's up guys and welcome back to the x and Hideout. My name is Ghost. If you guys have never been here before, I'm super excited you guys are here. We are back with another gun build for Escape from Tarkov. Now this is one that has been somewhat requested. Um, mainly I had been dabbling already and then based on the request, I was like, you know what? Let's knock it out of the way. Let's get the budget juice cannon rolling. Um, I'm gonna say a couple things before we get into the build, but I wanna go as quickly as possible straight to the point so you guys can come and find the build and that's gonna be it. But I do want you guys to know that I do stream on Twitch dot tv slash xvln ghost on monday wednesday friday and saturday at 5 p.m pst i would love to see you guys there but before we get into the build i wanted to mention a couple things like i do with my other budget videos i wanted to let you guys know what i consider budget what i consider a budget weapon isn't the cheapest weapon possible especially as you're going to see with this build if we went the cheapest version possible you're really not going to bring the numbers that much more down than buying the stock weapon, which would be kind of pointless to even mod it at all. What I would say in that circumstance is save your money and work with what you got. But if you want to spend a little bit of money to make the weapon better, like significantly better, then what we're going to do is with the budget builds, we're going to take the meta in slot pieces and we're going to switch them out with something more affordable, but not something that is like cutting your stats in half. So it's going to be similar stats for a way better price. That's what I mean by budget build. So when you guys I see this build it's going to be a little more expensive but that's also because the SA58 or fell rifle is already 50,000 rubles at the very beginning there's not like a cute little barter that we could do for it the other way that you can get it is off of scavs which sometimes you'll get a scav with an SA58 I feel like it's kind of back and forth sometimes I'm like oh I keep getting this and then other times I'm like wow I haven't got one in a while when you get it just extract with it if you want to make a build with it um, and just feel like you lucked out. It'll come with M80 most of the time, which is a very good affordable round that will definitely two and three tap um, PMCs unless you obviously shoot them in the face, then it doesn't matter. But that's why this build is going to go the way it's going to go. The other thing I wanted to bring up quickly is we're going to be messing with a 7.62 by 5.1 uh, I was going to say sniper rifle because of how large the caliber is. It's a large caliber assault rifle, which means it's going to be heavier, meaning that our stats are going to cost a little bit more to get the stats pushed a little bit more. Now, one thing that we can do with the SA-58 that I'm going to separate the builds is today we're going to be going for a low recoil build, but you can also go for a high ergo build if you want to use it more like a DMR and just keep that semi-automatic fire, throw a Valde or something on it, and then get those long range nice shots. But today we're going to be kidding this thing to be going fully automatic and you guys are not going to believe the vertical recoil we get it to. Let's get into the build. So as we begin to go over this build, I want you guys to remember what we talked about in the last couple of videos, and that is every single time you make a build, you wanna think in your head, what am I gonna be using this build for? You don't wanna just build guns just to build them because it's gonna depend on what parts you wanna put where, depending on what kind of build you're gonna make. We're going for that full auto, so we're gonna go for the low vertical recoil. If I was gonna use this on shoreline and I was gonna be like sniping with it, then I'd be going for that high ergo, so it just depends. Let's get into the low recoil build. So the first thing we're gonna do for the build is you're gonna go to the flea market and for about 50,000 rubles, you're gonna purchase the regular SA-58. When you get the SA-58 into your stash, you are gonna right away take off. We're gonna take off the stock. We're gonna take off the dust cover. We're gonna take off the foregrip or handguard. We're gonna take off the pistol grip and we're gonna take off the compensator or muzzle brake, depending on what comes on it. They all come pretty standard. They also are gonna come standard with the 21 inch barrel for the most part. Um, it was very rarely that I seen it with the 11 or I believe the 16. And so with the 21, that's the one we want anyway. So this is gonna be perfect. Now let's get right into this build. The build is gonna start with this pistol grip. It's gonna be the Fab AG Fell pistol grip. Now, the reason why I went with this pistol grip is because for the price, you get the best ergonomics. And even though we're not going for ergonomics, it's only a little bit more to get almost double the ergo. So we're gonna be getting a plus 13 ergonomics on this, and it's gonna be about 5,000 rubles from skier level four. The next part we're gonna go over is the handguard. Now we're gonna go with the Viter Cas V Fell foregrip. 
Now, this is probably going to be one of the more expensive pieces, but it's totally worth it. And you actually have to buy the more expensive one because we have the longer barrel. So when you get this, this is going to be about 17,000 rubles. And I believe it's going to be, let's find out, mechanic level three. And this is going to give us plus 14 ergonomics and negative 3% recoil. Very, very good piece. It's going to be ready for us to put our rails and anything else you want to put on it. The next piece we're going to go over is going to be the dust cover. We're going to replace that with the DS Arms Extreme Duty dust cover. That's going to be about 12,000 rubles from Mechanic Level 3, and it's going to give us plus four ergonomics. And this is going to be just so we can put pretty much whatever site we want to put. Now, there's other ways to go about doing this. You can also get um, one of the different foregrips that you can put the site on the front of the gun. I'm not a big fan of that. And plus, I want this specific handguard, so we're going to go with this dust cover. So the next part while we're right here is we're going to add on top of that dust cover, and I'm going to show you guys why in the hideout when we're testing out the weapon is we're going to add the LaRue tactical Picatinny riser and what that's going to do is it's going to lift the sight higher that way we're not phased by the muzzle flash coming from our firearm and we're going to be able to track in the midst of shooting so what happens when you go full auto and you're not using a suppressor on this weapon is a muzzle flash is really intense so sometimes if you're trying to track somebody if they're moving you will lose them so we want to just lift it up a little bit higher make it a little bit easier to see now the Picatinny riser is going to be about 3,000 rubles from mechanic level three the site we're going to go with is the Cobra EKP and the reason why I choose this site for a lot of my budget builds is because it's a very simple straightforward red dot and it's very cheap and it has um, about the same ergonomics as most of the sites this is not going to be a main issue anytime you add something to the gun whether it's increasing the weight or whether it's increasing its height it's going to take away from the ergonomics in general so this is going to be negative six ergo and it's going to give us a negative one percent recoil and it's going to run about 8500 rubles from flea market now let's talk about the three parts that you're going to need to make our new stock so we took off the original stock and we're going to go with the buffer tube adapter for the SA-58 and you're going to need this so that we can actually put the buffer tube on. Makes sense, right? So the buffer tube adapter is uh, 2,700 rubles from mechanic level three. Then we're going to go with the Mesa Tactical Crosshair Hydraulic Buffer Tube. Now, I'm telling you guys right now, you can look up all the other buffer tubes. This is the best bang for your buck. This is going to give us negative three ergo, but it's going to give us negative 6% recoil. This is huge for a buffer tube. We're going to be using this buffer tube because of that reason. It's $135 from Peacekeeper Level 4, and the stats are just too much to deny. On top of that, we are going to go with the HKE1 stock. Now, this stock is also one of those stocks that most of them sit around negative 35% recoil. We are hitting with this stock negative 39% recoil. We're going for that low recoil. And then we also have the plus three ergo. So we get the best of both worlds right here. We're getting better ergo and we're getting a lot lower recoil. This one is going to run about $104 from Peacekeeper level four. Like, like if you guys didn't buy it from Peacekeeper, what you're going to need to factor in is about every 100 USD is going to be about 12,000 rubles. So if we're getting it for $104 in comparison to 91, 95,000 rubles, it's an amazing deal. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a foregrip to make that recoil go even lower. So we're going to have to grab the five inch Cas V Vider rail and we're going to go ahead and put this on the um, handguard and then we can go ahead and put this is going to be the best choice. I don't usually go Magpul. I usually go Zenit. But today we're going Magpul for this build because it's going to give us the best stats for the price. We are going to go for, oh, I'm sorry. Let me tell you about the cast fee. The cast fee 5 inch is 1600 rubles from Mechanic Level 3. Then we're going to go into um, the Magpul RVG. And we're going to use this grip for the negative 3% recoil. And it's going to give us plus 7 ergonomics. This is a really, really good choice for the price. Um, this is going to run us about $80 from Peacekeeper. So in comparison to maybe running like an RK1, if we were going for that low recoil, the RK1 sits at about 17, 18,000 rubles. So this is a great price for what we're getting. So next we're going to be talking about some of the most important pieces to this build. And this is why I don't want to go cheap on this part. Where we get the low recoil on this build right here guys let's go to it we are going to be going and grabbing the direct thread adapter for the Lantac blast mitigation device now what this is going to do 
is making it so that our recoil is gonna be a lot lower. We're gonna grab this adapter. You can get the adapter for uh, 32 USD, um, Peacekeeper level four. Then we're gonna grab the famous Lantac Dragon um, muzzle brake, which is one of the best muzzle brakes in general. This is gonna be negative 12% recoil, huge. We're gonna also get negative one ergonomics, not really a big deal. We're gonna put that on and that is gonna be um, about 118 USD from Peacekeeper level four. And then we're gonna go right to what's gonna sit on the outside of it. And that is the BMD, the blast mitigation device, what we needed the adapter for. This is gonna go around it, giving it another negative 4% vertical recoil. And then it's gonna give us negative two ergonomics. And the BMD is gonna cost about 9,000 rubles on flea market. And this all together is just gonna be amazing for our low recoil build. All right, boys, the build is complete. Let's take it into the hideout and see how it works. Here we go. So I'm gonna show it to you in single fire first. Do you guys see this right now? Do you guys see this right now? We're gonna look at the ergo, which isn't amazing, but we're going for the, not terrible, but it's not amazing but we're going for the low recoil. Check this thing out in full auto, please, please. Okay, I have to show that to you guys again. Look at this right now, please. Do you guys see how steady that is? Do you guys see the recoil on that? And so also, you guys can see what I was talking about and why we wanted to lift up the sight a little bit. Can you imagine the sight being lower? It's pretty bad if you're not using a suppressor. Now the suppressor is going to add about, I don't know, 50 to 70K, depending on where you get the suppressor from, but that's what's gonna add to the build. So we just went without it and it works perfectly fine without it. Let's hit it again. Reload. Single. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, that is the build. We're sitting at the final numbers. Now let's take a look. This is when you get it from flea market, and this is gonna be at 28 ergonomics in comparison to our brand new budget juice cannon at 46 ergonomics. Then we're gonna look at the vertical recoil at 144. We started out at 144, and look where we're at right now. We are at 66 vertical recoil. Now this build is gonna cost a total of 109,000 rubles about, and about 470 USD from Peacekeeper. This is the build. Now obviously you guys could put a little bit better in slot items and even get it down even more, get the ergo up even higher, but for a budget build, this is an amazing weapon. Now that I'm showing you guys how to get that recoil lower, this is definitely a build I think you guys should try. Please let me know down in the comments if you guys try the build, what you guys think of the build, and I. I really appreciate you guys being here for the video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really hope you enjoyed the build. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. It goes a long way for the channel. It puts my videos up on YouTube's algorithms, making it so that more people can benefit from this guide. Also share this with a friend. If you have a friend that's new to Tarkov and wanting to learn how to build as well, go through these together, run a raid together, see who gets the most kills with this build. Either way, let me know what build you guys wanna see next. I am definitely making videos based on your guys' requests because that's what I'm trying to do is bring the most value to you guys. Make sure you guys check out the new ADAR build that I just recently put out. I'll go ahead and link it up here for you. And also make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Tarkov content like this. We've been putting out three to four videos a week. And you can also hit the little bell if you never want to miss an upload. Hope to catch you guys by the live stream sometime at twitch.tv slash xvlnghost. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. PST. I'd love to have you guys there, whether you want to talk about this stuff live or whether you just want to enjoy some raids. Either way, we usually have a great time. I hope you guys are very blessed. I hope you have an amazing day or night, depending on where you're at in the world. I hope your raids are absolutely gorgeous. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. You can't end your sub if you're trying. You have to stay sub to me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stay subbed. <laughs>